And that's it for Today in America. I'm your host, Agent Cordero. Thank you and good night. Good evening, America, and welcome to Good Evening America. I'm your host, Agent Cordero. I would like to offer a special thanks to our sponsor, Async, Agent Cordero Incorporated. I would also like to thank all our other sponsors, donors, and our viewers, like you. Thank you. Now to our first order of business, the news. We have a rather interesting story for you tonight. A uh, man seems to have gone bananas, quite literally. We now bring on our specialist on the issue, Sebastian Cordero. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. It is an honor to be here. Uh, good evening, America. This morning. So what exactly happened with these bananas? Well, a man has been arrested for stealing bananas. In fact, I believe you interviewed him. Yes, I did. That's right, folks. We sat down with our banana man and asked just a few questions. In fact, let's show it now. So what inspired this? Oh, that's simple, man. The bongos. The music goes hard, bro. And I can't get enough of those slappers, you know? And their music, they always talk about bananas, you know what I'm saying? And next thing I knew, man, I was stealing and doing those joints, you feel me? Are we good? Oh, man. That's right, folks. This music has become such a worldwide phenomenon, gaining popularity at a surprisingly fast rate. But is this music having a side effect on us? Let's listen to it and find out. Hey, what's up? So got the stuff? Yeah. Smooth, blue stuff, man. The other stuff. Yeah. There you go. That's good stuff. Nice ripe. Bro, this ain't quality. You don't know nothing about bananas. You know that we in the bongos, stuck on the racks we honcho. Red Lamborghini with narcos, hitting right left with the combo. We don't mess with the amigos, they in the amigos, not here with the ricos. A homie gon' back it up. Y'all know the bongos gon' rack it up. You know we gotta go get it. Yellow bananas we winning. No paying souls, we just stealing. Look at us now, we got millions. Racks. Bananas hit us potassium. You know I gotta go get me some. Trappers are hard with the champions. You better run. Banana gun. We popping off, y'all better run. Line up addicts in the attic. Dumb money going out with paddock. Banana gun, we popping off, y'all better run. Line up addicts in the attic, dumb money going out with paddock. Hey. We also sat down with Dr. Isaac Wagner, professor of psychology at Bellman College Prep, to discuss the possible side effects of this unusually popular music. The buyer and seller are both affected by what is referred to as social cognitive theory. Social cognitive theory is the idea that by observing and learning something, they will be motivated to do that action. In this case, these two men look up to the bongos and see and learn about selling and bu buying bananas and making money. And they feel that both now it is cool and acceptable to do so. This is similar to the Boba doll experiment done by Albert Bandura, where kids observed adults playing with toys in an aggressive manner, leading to the kids acting in a very similar fashion. As you can see, this music can lead to some interesting side effects, but damn, is it good. Let's listen to it again, shall we? Banana gun, we popping off, y'all better run. Line up addicts in the attic, dumb money going out with paddock. Banana gun, we popping off, y'all better run. Line up addicts in the attic, dumb money going out with paddock. We're almost out of time, but I would like to share the end of this fascinating story. Our banana man, whom we interviewed, will be put on trial and undergo a psychological examination to determine whether or not he should be punished for his crimes and whether the music was the true cause. We also found a banana addict who had been working with the dealer and has also been inspired by the bongos. Sir, sir, what are you doing? What are you eating? Oh my, uh, uh, sir, how many bananas have you had? Tw Twelve. Twelve? Oh, sir, sir, sir. The banana addict we caught is undergoing psychological treatment using positive punishment, a form of operant conditioning. Let's talk to Dr. Wagner. When the addict reaches for a banana, 
He receives a light shock, hopefully curing him of his addiction over time. He could also be cured of the addiction through classical conditioning and extinction. Instead of a regular addictive banana, the addict would be offered chemically enhanced bananas that do not have the addictive element seen in regular bananas. Thus, the addict would no longer associate bananas with pleasure. For those who aren't psychologists, this is called extinction, in which the patient no longer associates the conditioned stimulus, the bananas, with the conditioned response. Thus, uh, a feeling of pleasure. Thank you, doctor, and good night, America. Hello, America, and welcome to Good Night America. I'm your host, Agent Cordero, and I hope you all had a good day. I would like to thank all our sponsors, especially Async, Agent Cordero Incorporated, and our viewers. Thank you. Thank you. Today we had some rather interesting breaking news in which a man has gone bananas.